Hello, I am very honored to be speaking at the Cascade Strategy Factory. Thank you so much, Karim and Lucas, for the invitation. And thank you for your support during my preparation for this session. Okay, I'll be talking to you on the topic, Customer Experience Differentiation with Social Listening and Search Analytics. In the next few minutes, I'll discuss with you the strategic importance of social listening and, and search analytics, the B squared EP squared framework for activating the power of social listening and search analytics. That's a framework I created for the purpose of this session and also, of course, for reference, future reference for everyone who wants to understand how to activate the power of social listening and search analytics. And then at the Third uh, subtopic I'll discuss with you today is the reason why the first two topics I've mentioned will be useless without a bias for action and experimentation in the team. So let's dive in. Every organization, every business needs salience, brand salience. Every brand needs to be relevant to consumers and it's a tug of war. Right, but how do how do certain brands exist from generation to generation? They play what I like to call the two-sided game. The two-sided game I'm talking about is the brand resiliency equation. Right? So on one side, you have to continuously create a compelling expectation for your brand, and on the other side, you have to continually deliver a differentiated experience to your consumers. Okay, so social listening and search analytics play important roles on both sides of this game. But for today, I'll focus more on delivering a differentiated experience. What can social media, uh, social listening and search analytics offer to you in terms of de delivering a differentiated uh, customer experience, right? Search is the biggest indicator of consumer intent on the internet today and social media is the world's largest focus group. So in a digitally transforming world, every forward-thinking brand and business needs to tap into the power of social listening and search analytics. Okay, uh, let me take you through the B uh, squared EP squared framework. Okay, B stands for brand. So, if you want to activate the power of social listening in your business, you need to listen to brand conversations and listen to uh, searches around your brand, analyze searches around your brand. It's very important. You you can pick up consumer complaints. You can pick up the problems they have when they use your brand or your product. You can pick up a lot. You can even pick up innovation ideas from listening to consumer conversations around your brand. Then C, C stands for competition. It's very important, of course, to always keep your eyes on what the competition is doing. Are they offering something better than you that you're not aware of social media is one big platform to learn about that of course search as well so what keywords are being associated with your with your competitor if your competitor is way bigger than you and you notice some keywords being associated with that uh, brand but not being associated with yours even though you offer the same product or service you want to look into it especially if it's a positive association and gain some edge from that insight, okay? The second C, remember, it's B, B, C squared, E, P squared. My apologies if I didn't mention that correctly in my uh, previous, uh, previously, okay? But the framework is B, C squared, E, P squared. Okay, so the second C stands for category conversations. Your brand, your business plays in a context, Okay, so very important to look at the category beyond your, bro your products, beyond similar products, but other products that, that fulfill a similar need to yours, that capture the same attention that your brand captures. It's very important to listen to, to the conversations, to 
to analyze the searches and glean insights to make improvements on your side. Okay? E stands for economic conversations and search. In Nigeria, for example, consumers are very price sensitive, right? The COVID-19 uh, outbreak, it affected a lot of consumers economically and they spoke up about it. A lot of job losses and all that. If you are not listening to the conversation, you might miss out, right? So it's very important to listen to every economic conversation especially the ones that directly impact your brand or your product. The insights you will glean will, 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 will not just shape your brand strategy, it will shape your overall business strategy and bring you closer to the consumers. Okay, so now to P squared, right? So the first P stands for passion. Passion is huge. Every brand, almost every brand attaches itself to a certain passion point that the consumer has. So it's very important to listen to consumers, to know the consumer's point of view in terms of various passion points. Be it sports, of course you pick and choose what you're, you're focusing on, you know, from a strategic standpoint, right? So we know the major passion points are sports, movies, games, um, music, tech, name it. Whatever your brand is leveraging, you want to be very clear on the consumer's perspective, on what they love, on what drives them, what you know tickles them, and unlock those opportunities for your brand in terms of leveraging that passion point. Then last but not the least is political conversations. We live in a political world, whether you like it or not. A lot of marketing leaders often think that, oh, brands should not get involved in, in politics. But no, brands have always been involved in politics, sustainability, women empowerment, all that, are, all those are political issues. The only difference is brands do not get involved in party politics, right? So the political conversations that are relevant to your business, to your brand, you need to keep an ear on it, an eye on it. What are consumers saying about women empowerment? If you are a brand that supports women, what are the hidden opportunities you can pick up from their conversations? What are they searching about? What's their intent? What are they trying to solve on their own that you can support them in solving? Because every brand, to, the, the consumer remains the hero, but the brand is the guide helping the consumer to achieve whatever they want to achieve, right? So if you are a brand that plays in that space, for example, say you are supporting women in Nigeria, or women in South Africa, or women in the United States, or even in Australia or India, you need to first of all know what they are talking about, right? Of course, I know you can depend on various uh, researches that a lot of agencies out there, but nothing beats social listening, especially in this area, because you, you with social listening and research, you get to observe consumer behavior, observe what they really feel without being prompted, which I believe is the most powerful way to gain uh, consumer insights. So, uh, to the last point uh, for my uh, speech, uh, during the strategy factory. I've, I've talked about um, the strategic importance of social listening and search analytics. I've also talked about the BC squared, EP squared framework for activating the power of social listening. But these two things can be useless for your business if you are not taking action and if you are not experimenting. It's very important to take action when these insights are gleaned. And circling back to the two-sided game, the insights from social listening and search analytics can be, act can be actioned on either side of the game, be it in creating a compelling expectation, for example, in terms of communication, consumer engagement activities, and then de delivering a differentiated experience, right? Product innovation, what are the constituents of your product that consumers complaining about their, during their consumer journey? What are the, you know, the blockers that they've talked about? 
with social listening you can get all those and then improve the experience the overall experience uh, of your brand okay so I hope this has been a very has been an insightful session for you of course it's just a top line there is a lot to learn feel free to reach out to me I am Ruke Wetoka on LinkedIn and you can also uh, reach out to uh, Karim and Lucas if you'd like to get in touch and to learn more about using social listening and search analytics to create a differentiated customer experience for your customers. Thank you so much and do enjoy the rest of the Strategy Factory. Bye for now.